and welcome once again, fellow girls, guys, and gamers. This is Small Archangel. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Seven Days to Die Alpha 16. It's day 65. Um, <clears throat> and we need to build the next layer of our base because, um, yeah, because as I said previously, once we've got the two working levels of the base done, then we're more or less in business and we can take our time with the rest of the base build because it doesn't, it's not so essential. Essential. It's more bling. It's more for the looks of things. Um, it's just living quarters, really. So uh, it's not. It's non-essential, basically. So uh, <clears throat> this is roughly mapped out the same way as the lower level was. But before we go there, we are going to go and do <clears throat> our. No, I don't need to go in there. We're fine. We're going to go to the traders first. You have to bear with me today. I'm not quite with it because uh, I have a cold. I have a horrible cold. Uh, and so, uh, yes, I'm not quite compass mentis. So we have a few things here that I want to sell to the traders. Uh, we've got these old cash uh, that we can sell to the traders as well. Look at that. I've actually put. Let's make use of it, shall we? Let's hopefully, hopefully this is going to be... Non-fatal. Excellent. There we go. So you can see that's one of the things I've done is I've placed a few hay bales there, as I said I was going to do. I've also fully upgraded all of the pillar supports for the garage. And yes, unfortunately, when I log out of uh, the game completely and log back in, the bike is always on the ground level, which is a pain in the proverbial, to be quite honest. But uh, there you go. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to spend today doing some more work on the base. But first, we're just going to... Oh, hello. She just got up in front of me. First, we're going to shoot this zombie. Uh, we're going to go to the traders. I'd just like to reassure myself from time to time that he's still in business. There we go. Oh, two skirts. Hello. We'll sell those two. I won't get much for them, but... Uh, <clears throat> I have been collecting a few schematics that we've already learned that we don't need and we can put those uh, to good use by selling it to the trader. We're also going to check his stock. In the last episode we went to a, another trader, I would say nearby, it's not ever so nearby. We need to find some yet some more so that we can really do the trading round. Let's shut that by us. There we go. Um, but uh, yeah, we want to see what trader Jimmy the Knees has got uh, in his stockpile. <laughs> Hey, Jimmy's feet. Make it snappy. I gotta take a crap. Huh. <laughs> From your position, I really wouldn't recommend that. Okay, we're gonna get eight, all of eight for that. That's fine. We'll do that. There we go. And then we can sell this cowboy hat, which is really quite good quality. Uh, we can get 50 for this, which isn't too bad. The hazmat pants are worth... Look at that. They're even rubbish quality. One, two, eight, four. Wowza. There we go. And then all of these schematics, I think, are worth the same. 247. Oh, 250. 252. Okay, so there's a slight variance between them, but that's fantastic. And then this lot, if I can sell them all bar one, that way I'm just maintaining that space in there. Nice. And we've got ourselves quite a lot of dukes there. So let's see if he's got... Any of the things that we really, really want. Now, the first thing I want is night vision goggles, and it doesn't look like he's got them, does it? No. Let's have a look in his secret stash. There's a wolf out there somewhere. Shotgun turret. Uh, whoa, they're quite expensive, aren't they? But to be honest with those, it's not a case of how much they cost to make them. Gives me pause. It's how much they cost to maintain, really, with in terms of uh, ammo. So, uh that well, no iron chest armor no i can make better than that myself engines we seem to be harvesting okay these paint books might be useful uh although i'm not entirely sure whether i've read those or not yet difficult to tell i don't think i have with the, either of those but i'm not absolutely positive okay let's have a look and see if he's got anything in uh, terms of uh, solar arrays or anything like that. I don't think he has, but I haven't searched absolutely everything yet. Let's just look at all. And I think all doesn't include <coughs> doesn't include secret stash. Wire tool. Mm, that's kind of tempting, but... Don't no. let the door hit you on your way out. Is that what happened to you? Uh, huh? uh, I have no idea. <clears throat> we don't... Uh, just 
have to watch out for that wolf I heard. I don't think he's immediately here, though. There we go. Okay, so unfortunately he didn't have uh, anything particularly useful at all. But I would really like to get hold of some night vision goggles because I want to go... Um, spelunking in those uh, vertical dungeons that we have because uh, that would be good wouldn't it to go and be able to uh explore one of those those uh skyscrapers there's one just over there for example but uh <clears throat> pretty much um essential kit really are the night vision goggles so that you can stealth your way through are we too hot are we too no she's fine she just seems to be making odd noises we, uh, yeah, we, yeah, you can use the head lamp, but it's not very stealthy, so it, unless you want an entire building's worth of zombies aggroing on you simultaneously, oh look, I thought I'd left something there, um, then it's a good idea to, uh, yeah, to, to not take that. I think this is turned off. It is indeed turned off. Excellent. There we go. Okay, so really what we want to be able to do is get that stuff that's down there up here don't we so in order to do that we need to uh, make sure there's somewhere to put it so let's do okay we've got all the stuff that we need for this so let's just go up top here we go and we've got lots of rebar of course we've got a claw hammer of course we've got two of these which have ladders running through them this is the other one uh, which obviously is our maintenance hatch, and we're not going to need to put... We're going to need more ladder there, of course, but we're not going to need to <clears throat> make an opening for that here. And I think previously we had this kind of five blocks high, didn't we? Why am I putting that there? That doesn't make sense. It would make more sense if I put it here. There we go. Whoa, hello. That's interesting. We've got green and white and red. It's all sort of... That's a bit strange. I'm not quite sure what the, the green is in aid of. That's new, I'm sure. It's not very festive, I have to say. Okay, so that's three blocks. I think we need four, five blocks on the whole of this. And I will just verify that in a moment. But I'm fairly sure that that's the height we've got below. And so we want to... Uh, do the same thing up top. Okay, here we go. So yes, we have five blocks between floor and ceiling. So that is indeed what we want to do. Just make sure I get off the right side and don't kill myself. Yep, that's five blocks. There we go. So we'll do the same thing here. Now, we don't obviously want these here. So I'll take them away. There we go. And we're going to need to do the same thing with these, of course. What? In order to not break my legs, I do need to put a few blocks there as well. There we go. And I think I've got five there, haven't I? Yes, I have. I could probably safely fall five blocks, but I'm not entirely sure of that. One, two, three, four, five. In reality, I don't think I could. Oof. I think that's about as far as I'd want to fall, to be honest. Okay, I think that's pretty much got it. And obviously we're going to need our ladder to continue up further than that. But for the moment, we'll just leave it as is. That's fine. Now, in my inventory, I have quite a lot of concrete. We've got two full stacks of the stuff. And so we should be good uh, to get this finished off now. Uh, now, <clears throat> it was a little bit awkward to do this last time because some of these... Uh, yeah, it's a little bit difficult to get all the way around the outside of those, so in point of fact, I might have to deconstruct them in order to upgrade them. But uh, we'll just get these pillars done first. There we go. Alright, now this is... We should be able to get all the way around this one. Because we can get in at the doorway. Oh no, that's perhaps not true. Okay, do I dare to do this in order to try and gain access to the rear? It's risky, but effective. And while I'm here, I will do the whole lot. There we go. Oh, there goes our daily roaming horde. All the faster members thereof. 
the slower members will be right behind. And I like that better than trying to take the whole flaming thing apart. That works better for me. So I think that's what we'll do, albeit, as I said, a little on the risky side. And then we should be able to reach these ones from in here. There we go. Okay, and we'll try doing the same thing here. Oh, it does make me hold my breath somewhat. Oh, for goodness sake. There. Yes. There we go. And that should be enough of a ledge to do this. Window cleaners do worse on skyscrapers. Oops. But they are usually tied on as well. Okay, let's take that. There we go. And then all I have to do is the same thing twice more. Whoopie do. Without dying, preferably. There we go, and I can breathe a sigh of relief now, because uh, I finally... That's an odd one to try off first, isn't it? I have finally done that without killing myself, and it looks like all of my blocks are pretty much in the right places as well, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> yeah. My OCD demands that those should be upgraded as well. That is, of course, our concrete plates from uh, the place below. The maintenance hatchway below us. Uh, there we go. So now what we need as well, if we've got any concrete left, we have a little bit. Yes, we do. Uh, we actually need to make ourselves some arches and uh, these ones. And I think we need 12, but I always seem to get that wrong somehow. Uh, we have a screamer, but I'm going to ignore her for the time being because she's not going to see me. <clears throat> or maybe while these are crafting, we should go down and deal with her. In the time ordered fashion of shooting her in the face with a sniper rifle. In stealth mode. My sniper rifle took a real pounding at the last horde. The last horde was very detailing actually because I have my zombie count up to 24 now, which isn't the max. It will go to the max, believe me. Um, but I'm getting some very badass zombies turning up. I'm getting lots and lots of feral cops. At Absolute tons of them. She's over there. Absolute t tons of them. And there's a load of wandering horde members who are looking a bit confused that they don't know where I am as well. So let's wait till she stops moving. So we're going to do a horde on camera before too much longer. Down she goes. But will she stay down? Probably not. She will now. Nice. I love it. So I managed to get uh, quite a bit of rifle practice in there which was excellent um i've already repaired it once it's now in need of being repaired again obviously as you see so i may as well do that right now while it occurs to me to do so <clears throat> and then we know it's good ready for the next horde but uh, i actually got i must have got about eight feral spiders turned up at the same time as each other and there was just a mass of them it was absolutely crazy uh, oh, there it is. I was beginning to wonder what had happened to that. Come on. doesn't seem to lose durability. It seems to stay at 250, which is really good. I expected it to get worse and worse, which is why I don't normally bother with, uh, yeah, I don't normally bother with um, uh, repairing stuff. I mostly just, hello, it's behind you. Uh, I don't normally bother with repairing stuff. Normally, all I do is, uh, you know, sort of craft a new one and make it, um, you know, combine the two together kind of thing, uh, which I know makes the quality better. But uh, if the quality doesn't get any worse, that's good too. I've only got, I haven't got that many levels in the fixer either, I don't think. So, okay, so here's our arch windows, just the same as before. Basically, all our floors are going to be fundamentally the same design. And I haven't done enough of these, have I? Naturally. So I'm going to need... Got one, two, three. Do you know what? I have done enough of these. I really have, haven't I? For the first time in my life, in recorded history. Uh, no, you are lying. You have not done enough. I do need some more. One, two, three, four more. Rats. Must remember next time, the next floor, we don't need 12. We need 16 
of these. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so it's all very picturesque in here now. Um, we're going to just get those to our hot bar so we can see what's going on. We've got bars as well, but we're not going to make the mistake of putting the bars all in place uh, before we are finished. Uh, we know what happened last time. Basically, I couldn't place the electrics. So what we're going to do this time, we're just going to place one layer oh no that is that correct again i just need to double check and make sure that's the same yes it is isn't it that is what we've done here that is fine just so long as i know i'm doing it right uh we're just going to place one layer like a fence basically to stop yours truly from falling to her silly death because uh yeah i really don't trust myself right now it's amazing that i managed to do what i did Without falling down today, it really is. There we go. And we'll just go, if we've got enough of these, all the way around. There we have. There we lovely. Yay. So, we've done that now. <clears throat> and we've got our concrete arches to finish the job off here. There we go. I like the way that these auto-rotate as well, so that they face in the correct direction. Fab. There we go. Lovely. So that is, in essence, our next floor. Now, again, we're going to need some more... We're going to need some more ladders, aren't we? How many pieces? One, two, three. Well, funny enough, four. Ladder. And at some point, I will get round to turning all of this ladder and our catwalk down there. Particularly our catwalk down there, because that is vulnerable. Uh to, well, I don't know, cop spit or whatever, uh, we will turn all of that into um, the metal equivalent because it's more durable. Okay, and then here, of course, we're going to need to do the same thing as we did be below uh, because the, <clears throat> the block that we have underneath us when we have our maintenance area is a full block like this one. The block that we have above us is the plate block. So we may as well whiz on round here. There we go. And that one gets filled in as well. I am still sort of planning on doing that as trussing. But to be honest, I don't think it makes too much a difference. Trussing can't be obviously turned into reinforced concrete. But why would you want to anyway? Yes, this is where we need it to be open, isn't it? There we go. Although, to be fair, that is going to be the floor. So, <laughs> um, but trussing has the advantage of not actually moving. I don't know if it's any more durable, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure if it's any more durable, if that makes any difference at all. There we go. <clears throat> and then, I don't know how many of these we've got. Have we got enough to fill in the ceiling? I'm not sure. And um, I'm not sure if it matters over much either, because... Just put my light on there. The higher up I get, the more invulnerable I feel to zombies, the more likely it is that I'll fall to my death. But the less likely it is that zombies, including screamers, will detect my presence, which I kind of like. I do love it when I build a tower base and then I can kind of chill out at night at the top of it. And hordes pass below and they have no idea I'm here. Screamers may turn up to investigate, but they don't actually detect me, so I could just quite easily sit there. I've just had a brainwave as to what the green probably means. It's probably got something to do with a land claim. And I haven't really noticed that before ever. We need one more of those, don't we? Uh, I have used land claims ever so much, funnily enough, because you don't tend to need to. Uh, now, which of these is the right ladder, actually? Um, <laughs> oh, my goodness, don't fall down there, please. It's this one with a hatch at the bottom. Crash, thump, wallop. That would be some zombies discovering my uh, spikes then. They do love those spikes. It's like a zombie playground. There we go. So that's all done. So I reckon probably that the green that occurs is telling me which blocks are covered by my land claim. Um, and which indicates the ones over this side are not. Which is interesting. But over here we all are. Ah, yes, you see. There we go. So before you tell me. I think we already realise <clears throat> that's what it's for. Okay, we evidently have a zombie having a fit around here somewhere, but I think I'm going to ignore him because what we really want to do now, we want to get my wrench and my land claim should... We can check even, can't we? Whee! 
boing. There we go. Ooh, hello. Uh, we can check. Yay. Green. Marvellous. There we go. Uh, we can check where our land claim is, is covering now. So this doesn't have anything in it. It does not. Okay, so here we are. Here's our entranceway here. And um, we've got our chemistry station and our plastic. Do not drop in that on the floor. Workbench here. And we don't want to just dump them any old wet. We're going to put our chemistry bench here against this this wall. I think I'll put it here, I think. There we go, pretty much in the middle, she says, getting it wrong way around because she presses the wrong button. There we are. And we'll place our workbench... Hmm, where's our entrance? We'll place our workbench here, which I think is where it is downstairs. I'm not 100% sure. There we go. Uh, and then the plan is, <coughs> obviously, excuse me, obviously we're going to need lots of storage up here as well. But this is going to be our weapons and ammo area too. So we're going to keep our weapons and armour and ammo and everything up here, hence the workbench. Um, but uh, what we need to do to start this off, really, start this ball, ro ball rolling, is to get ourselves... Where's my miscellaneous crafting? It's over here. In fact, I've got some more lights in here now. See? So we're not too bad for lights here. Uh, misc materials. Here they are. We need to get ourselves some nails. I've got a bit of concrete left there, haven't I? Uh, I should put that in the concrete box there, maybe. I've got some wood frames, which are actually the... Uh, Oh, we need some more wood, actually. Where's my wood? I don't remember. I think it's where we come in. Here it is. There we go. We'll have some of that. And we're going to need some storage boxes. And we're going to need as many of these as we had last time. So that was 12. There we go. And we're also going to need a couple of these. Two of those. And then, actually, I want some ammo crates. And I'm not quite sure. No, they're called munitions boxes, actually, aren't they? Can we craft those? I think we can. But I'm not 100% sure. Let's just check out here. No. What are the boxes that you can keep am ammunition in? You find them around the place, but can we make them? I'm not entirely sure that we can. Okay, so here's our furniture. Let's just see what we can actually craft here. We are going to need some beverage coolers, but funnily enough for those, we're going to need electrical parts, electrical components, short-eyed pipe and forged iron. So I need some more electrical components. I happen to know that for, for, for sure. Um, and ideally, I would like <clears throat> some of those boxes that you put munitions in, but I can't remember what they're called, and I'm not entirely sure if you can make them at this point anyway. I think I've had a mod or made a modded recipe for them in the past <clears throat> but i'm not sure if you can make them for the moment so we're just gonna have to leave that for the time being here we go and we're going to do the same thing with our boxes here <coughs> as we did last time which is to say that we're going to have them there and a space away from that like so and here and then here there we go. So very much the same kind of design. There we are. And we're going to have our two storage chests. And I think we need to turn that into advanced mode, don't we? To be able to... And then rotate through a hundred different variations to get to the diagonal one. Just because I like the look of it. There. Like that. And like that. And then we're going to make some gun safes for up here as well. So I'm going to have my chemistry stuff is going to be over here. And um, we're going to have uh, armor and what have you here. And we're going to have gun safes and sort of ammo and what have you over here. So that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> and uh, I won't worry too much about filling in the bars of the windows until we've actually got... Uh, we've got above our heads done and we've got the electrics sorted out so that we can actually see what we're doing so uh, I will leave the bars as they are for the moment although the structural integrity is better with them all in place of course because it provides extra support but 
and the whole structure is not going to come tumbling down because of that especially when there's nothing much above us at the moment so that is absolutely fine so i've got to have off camera work to do uh schlepping all of our goodies up here as well um so uh yeah more of that for me but then at least we'll be all in the same place and we won't have to be doing too much messing around down below <clears throat> and i'm even going to move my spawn point and just sort of stick it in here for the time being um and eventually of course it will go up above in our living quarters but for the time being this is the way it's gonna be so guys i hope you've enjoyed this episode despite the fact that i can't talk very well and i can't think very well either uh so thank you for bearing with me uh and i hope that you'll join me for the next episode when we are going to be going on a bit of a road trip um i think that we've got a town we've got towns all over the place this is what's so great about this area we're surrounded by them there's probably one down here as well pretty much every road leads to a town and we did discover a town down here to our south east a little bit uh when we were looking for this treasure chest here um <clears throat> and so it may be um worth checking out that town and see what's down there just from looting possibility potential because as i say apart from anything else what we really really do need is some more electronic components i think we've got like five left or something um so we really haven't got many of them we need them for all sorts of stuff like well lighting mainly yeah um, there we go we've got 10 of them so not masses not masses by any means and we do need more of them really as well so uh, i'm going to put these bars back in my building components crate there we go oh i've, I've got a spare chest in there as well oh i've got 559 concrete plates so i must remember that when it comes to uh when it comes to um placing the ceiling on my new maintenance maintenance area but uh for now let's see do we have enough do we have enough lights in here now I, it's, it's less dim than it was but those lights i don't know maybe they're sort of fairly high up and things but uh it's not bad it's not bad i might add some more like two more so that we've got nine in here but they take some more of those electronic components as well as you see we haven't got many of those so we need to make gathering some of those a priority <coughs> which is what we're going to be doing on our looting trip in the next episode so i do hope you guys will join me for that in the meantime if you enjoyed this one don't forget to let me know by hitting that like button also feel free to comment in various ways below um and until the next next episode keep gaming keep surviving and stay happy bye bye for now